The Dr. Fab Show, in association with Neostrata Skin Active. Welcome back to part two of The Dr. Fab Show. Coming up, win the war against wrinkles, plus amazing carb-free spaghetti in the Dr. Fab kitchen. I have a very special guest, Dr. David Jack, a cosmetic doctor in Harley Street, and uh, you do some really interesting procedures for the hands. Now, can you tell us a little bit more about it? Yeah, so I, I started doing treatments for the hands because I, I noticed that people, although they had very nicely um, done faces, the hands tended to be quite neglected by a lot of people, and it was an area that just shows age straight away. Um, when you get over 60, age spots, loss of volume, skin changes are, are very evident um, at that sort of stage in life. And there's not, not many people that really address them. So I decided to kind of develop a couple of treatments specifically to treat these problems. So the treatments start off from the most superficial treatments targeting the skin. So things like peels and IPL to remove age spots, kind of rejuvenate the skin surface. So, uh, and for the deeper level where there's volume loss, loss of fat and loss of muscle as you age, um, I use a particular type of filler that stimulates collagen production um, and that's injected after I've treated the skin. So. so how would you know which treatment, I mean, what would be a typical consultation like when the patient comes in? Yeah, so I mean everybody's different and everybody has a slightly different problem as you could imagine. Some people, it's more kind of skin changes, age spots, and sometimes people get thread veins and things on their hands so without much loss of volume. So if that was the case I would use kind of more light based treatments or peels um, depending on how severe the problem is. If, um, if it volume loss is more of a problem, then, then I would tend to go more down the filler route, but quite often there's a combination, and also how, how intense the treatment the patient wants, and also their, their own kind of needs as well. Is there, uh, because the hands are quite visible, is there much downtime? Is there like much swelling when they leave the clinic? Not particularly. With fillers, with any type of filler, you're gonna get a bit of swelling, and usually it would be only for a couple of days, um, and then swelling from that subsides. Treatments like IPL intensity pulse light and um, gentle peels, there's very little downtime with. So do you, um, you talk about corrective, but in terms of uh, preventing that ageing, do you, can you spot early signs and then you Yeah, of course, more yeah. For, for all patients then I would obviously suggest using SPF from as early an age as possible to prevent sun damage, because that's obviously the, the main cause of the skin problems that you get. I think a lot of people who think just about their face, even day to day, not necessarily in the sun. If, if they're in, in London or anywhere in the UK, still SPF is a good idea to, to be using every day and people just do their face, maybe their neck, and completely forget about the other exposed areas. Great, thank you so much. So, so interesting. So, thank you. What we're doing today is we have Nikki here, who is a typical uh, non-surgical patient. She is fit, she's well, she's of normal weight, but she has some excess fat on her abdomen and some excess fat on her love handle area, which is a classic area where women carry weight, particularly in the menopausal years. What we're going to be demonstrating today is cool sculpting. And Sylvia is going to show us how she puts on the applicator to draw in the fat to start to freeze the fat. And this whole process will take about an hour when we do it in a clinical environment. It's a very simple, safe treatment and it's the only FDA cleared non-surgical fat freezing treatment currently available. So the beauty of the core sculpting is its superb versatility. It will treat the inner thighs, it can treat the outer thighs, it can even help contour the buttocks. There's a number of different ways that it can be utilised to treat lots of different areas of the body. What makes a cool sculpting so predictable in its outcome is the fact that it's the only FDA cleared technology for fat freezing. Cool sculpting freezes the fat to approximately minus 10 degrees and it's at that temperature that fat cells are permanently destroyed. The body then naturally breaks down this foreign material and excretes it from the body. And so from beginning to end, you see your full effect at eight weeks. 
We can actually do multiple treatments so that we can contour in waists, redefine the whole shape and silhouette of the body non-surgically without any downtime. The way that core sculpting works is incredibly clever. It's harnessing the fact that fat is much more susceptible to temperature change than any other organ in the body. Therefore, when the system drops the temperature down to approximately minus 10 degrees, it's only the fat cells that are targeted preferentially. They fragment and break up, sparing all the other tissues, so there is no harm or risk to any other organ in the body at all. And over a period of about eight weeks, the full treatment result becomes apparent as the fat cells are broken down and are permanently eliminated from the body. When a patient first comes in for their core sculpting consultation, we assess them thoroughly with a mirror. They look at themselves from top to toe and three-dimensionally so we can assess what areas of need there are. And in that way, we place the applicators in a very strategic way to sculpt and contour appropriately. During a treatment, the patient is very comfortable, as you can see from Nikki here. They literally lie on the couch, they can watch television or even work. The treatment from beginning to end takes approximately one hour. And we can often do what's called dual sculpting, which is we can do two treatment areas in one hour session, which reduces patients' time quite considerably. And for busy people leading busy lives, this is a very appealing option. After an hour, the treatment is complete and the practitioner then removes the applicator and performs a very important part of the process. They massage the treated area to break down and help those crystallized fat cells be destroyed. And it's a very important part of the end result. Sylvia is going to be showing this now. The reason we massage the fat cells is to make sure those fat cells that have been targeted are broken up. And there's a 60% improvement when massage is applied. So in summary, cool sculpting is a very safe, effective way of eliminating stubborn fat. And let's be honest, how many people don't have at least an inch or so of unwanted fat they want to get rid of? Hi, I'm Rosie and I've been married for 15 years. Sex with my husband isn't quite the same as it used to be and I don't feel quite the same down there as I did before I had children. Is there anything I can do to help? What advice would you give? Last year I went to the States and I got trained on a treatment called the O-Shot. And the O-Shot is simply injecting the vagina with platelet-rich plasma, or PRP. And what does it do? It actually improves and regenerates the entire vagina from the inside, anterior vagina wall, clitoris, which leads to increased sensitivity, um, improved the dryness. Also, it helps a lot in urinary incontinence. But the amount of the satisfaction that the women have after the O-Shot is quite incredible. And the testimonial that I've been having after this treatment is, 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 is gives me goosebumps sometimes because it changes people's life. So Dr. Sharif, what about the males? There's got to be something out there for us. Stephen, I got something for you. <laughs> I have something called the P-Shot, which is the synonym of the O-Shot. It's injecting PRP into the penis which also does the same. It enhances the, um, um, the, the penis, rejuvenates the penis, regenerates the tissue of the penis, makes it firmer, stronger, much longer erection. Well, there's some, definitely some exciting treatments there, so thank you very much for that. If you have a health problem and need some advice, then why not send us a video? Simply record the question on your phone and send it to us at the website on screen now. All right, today I'm going to be making a delicious pasta dish, uh, replacing the regular wheat-based or an egg-based pasta with uh, these konjac uh, pasta. The konjac has a very high affinity to water and it binds to 96% water with using only four, four grams of konjac fiber. Now, let's get uh, started because we have a, a little preparation to do. Um, I'm, I'm making a roasted veg pasta, so I'll quickly just uh, roughly chop some vegetables, this is peppers there, just roughly just need to roast them at about 200-250 degrees for literally uh, 15 minutes, that should do. The next is the courgette, just roughly just chop them into pieces, there we go. Aubergine, uh, roughly just chop it up again. 
So well, the veg is chopped and we're just going to drizzle a bit of olive oil um, to roast the veg. Give it a bit of a stir or a mix, or shake it and straight into the oven. So while it's roasting, we'll start getting our uh, spaghetti pre uh, prepared. So open the pack and you'll see there is another pack uh, which, is, which has got water inside. So this water, we're just going to drain it out. Normally spaghetti you need to boil. This spaghetti is ready to eat. Literally just rinse it out, squeeze the water out so your sauce does not get diluted. And the spaghetti is ready to go into our dish. I'll uh, switch the flame on and uh, we need to saute the shallots. Get some olive oil, heat it up. Don't want it too hot. I'm just gonna saute them, um, the uh, shallots and uh, flavor the spaghetti while the veg is cooking. All right, uh, shallots, roughly chopped shallots. We're going to stick them into the oil, olive oil, and just saute for a little, for about a couple of minutes, that should do. There you go, it's sizzling away. At this stage, we can add our spaghetti. There you go, it doesn't need cooking. We'll just heat them up in, in the uh, pan. Let's check on our uh, veg. Okay, that's, that's pretty much done. It only needs about 10 to 15 minutes of roasting at 200 degrees. So that's nicely done. At this stage, we can add our tomato sauce with, with the veg. So the sauce will also heat up together. And that's our roasted veg tomato ready. The spaghetti is ready, sorted now, flavored up, heated up with uh, sorted uh, shallots. I will get the uh, plate out for plating our spaghetti. We'll literally just uh, put the spaghetti on the plate and then we'll put our sauce on top of it. sauce looks very nice let's put a bit of parmesan and uh, a few leaves of basil just roughly chopped uh, just torn in hand and uh, there you go that's a slim spaghetti with uh, roasted veg and tomato sauce Oh, kebab. Nothing tastes better, does it, when you're on a night out and all you, all you want to have to eat is a kebab. I think KFC. KFC's got to be up there. Snickers balls. <laughs> French fries, probably. I mean, I could eat French fries all day, every day. Cake is my downfall. Cake and chocolate. My weakness is Chinese food. Chicken balls. That's it for today's Dr. Fab. See you again soon. The Dr. Fab Show, in association with Neostrata Skin Active.